All right, ladies and gentlemen, a very quick tutorial on toggle states, or how you can make one button do more than one thing. A toggle button will allow you to press the button and have it do one thing, press it again and have it do another. So in other words, like a toggle switch. For this example, I've added one button, saying this was a soundboard. I've added a sound, which is nine seconds long, um, and we'll go over then to the block editor and turn this button into a toggle state where we press the button it plays and then when we press the button it stops when we press the button again it will play from the beginning alright so I've got the button click out here so the way that I have found that is easiest to create a toggle state button is to have a variable that monitors the state of the button the way I'm going to do that is create a variable I'm going to call it play state this is basically going to be a boolean uh, at all times and the boolean will be either true or false either the player is currently playing or it is not playing alright so I've got a uh, variable defined as play state and then I'm going to go to the sound I'm going to say when the button 1 is clicked then I'm going to set the sound source first so uh, when the button is clicked set the sound source to what did I call that mp3 I believe I call the button is called moo so of course uh, the mp3 is uh, bark okay and then when the button is clicked uh, I want to play uh, the sound well that's all well and good but that's a single state button when I press that button uh, it's going to move and I'll press the button on my phone and sure enough it starts barking nine seconds it'll keep barking every time I press that button it plays another instance of that sound so there are multiple instances of the sound playing. Not what I want. So I need something to, to monitor the play state and set the play state. So I'm going to go to control logic. I'm going to get an if else. Because basically what I want to say is if currently the sound is playing, we'll stop it. If it's not playing, then start it. So uh, since this is a Boolean, Boolean simply means true false kinds of questions. Since it's a Boolean, I'm going to say if uh, um, the uh, play state equals false do this first set well what should we do if it's false well we should set the sound source to the sound and um, then we should play it but also if it was false we need to change the state of the variable okay so we need to uh, set play state to true okay so we set the play state now in the variable to true and we hit play so the next time the button is clicked this test is no longer going to be true if the play state is false then do the first so now that the variable will be set at true it's going to do the else do which what I want what do I want it to do if it's already played well I want the sound to stop so sound one stop and then I want the play state to change to false so at that point when I press the button it starts barking if I press it again it stops start again starts over So it's a toggle button. This toggle can be used not just in soundboards, but many kinds of applications where I want to monitor the state of what has happened on the last button. Hope you guys enjoy this. Hope it helps you. And good luck inventing apps.